was your thought when you found out you were being traded to the Buffalo Sabres? Uh, you know what, there's a lot of emotions that come through, but I'm excited to come to a group that's young and coming and in, in the right direction and in the hunt for a playoff spot. I mean, it's, it's fun playing hockey that matters every night, and I'm just ecstatic to be here. When were you able to get into town and finish with all the immigration? Just kind of got in yesterday. Uh, immigration kind of is one of those things where I'm not really sure how far. I, I know it's coming. Uh, it's just one of those things where I'm waiting to see kind of what happens that way and when we get the clearance to go that way. But we're just kind of sitting and waiting for that. Brian, where is your game at this point? I think it, uh, it's one of those things that's coming. Uh, the last couple games there, I, was, I started to trend in a better direction, and uh, I'm coming to bring in some sandpaper and some grit and to play hard and compete and try and earn my eyes here, and that's all I can ask for is an opportunity. What's your experience like with, uh, with <coughs> the in Chicago, with Dr. Otto in Chicago? Uh, he, I, our pass didn't cross there. Oh. He, he, he wasn't there uh, when I was there, but uh, I heard good things. As far as the way they play, Don was telling us yesterday that the style that they play, the, you know, the go for it, aggressive type of style, is something that you have in you and you've done before. And from what you've heard, I know you just got here, but maybe talking to Don or talking to Kevin, are you excited about maybe the way this team goes about playing on the ice? Yeah, I think there's so many things to be excited about playing here. The system that we play, the style we play, the guys that have implemented that system and taken advantage of it. Um, and, and I'm excited to do it. I think it's something that I can bring, that sort of on your toes mentality, the aggressiveness and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see and get adapted here in the next little bit and, and hopefully throw myself at it. How would you describe your style? I think I'm a bit of an old school with a new school, right? I bring in that old school grit and, and mentality and toughness, and I want to block shots and I want to hit people, and, uh, and I want to come that way. So uh, that's kind of how I would describe it. What's the experience been like for you <coughs> around you? Obviously, you're one of the Sabres gave up a pretty big asset for you. Just what's that been like for you, for your career, for just you know mentally just going through that? And, you know, uh, I think at times you always want to go places that you're wanted, right? And that uh, happened to be one of those things. I went into Chicago to a place I was wanted in Vancouver, and, and now to come here where I'm wanted for a team that's in the hunt, it is really exciting. And mentally, it gives me some clarity, uh, some clearance, and, and some openness that, hey, they want me here, I want to be here, and I want to make the playoffs, and I want to win, and that's all I can ask for. At the end of the day, I'm a competitor, and I just want to win, and to go to a place that you're wanted that wants to win, I'm just ecstatic to be a part of it. What's your memory of 15-year-ago version of Kevin Ash? <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, we, we talked uh, today, actually, uh, some old memories of when I was kind of buzzing around the room as a kid, folding towels and hanging out with the trainers and doing all that stuff and picking his brain. and. It, it is really cool. It's. Um, uh, I'd like it to say it's the first time I've played with someone that's played with my dad, but it's not. Uh, a <laughs> little bit of a testament to his tenure as a player, to my dad also, to Addy there. And uh, you know what? It's exciting because my dad also played with Skinny too, which is funny uh, at the beginning of Skinny's career in Carolina. Um, so it, it's nice to have that and nice to see those guys and some familiar faces and stuff. But. Uh, like I said, it's a testament to them to how they've taken care of themselves as pros and gone forward and come through. What was your dad's reaction to the news you get traded to Buffalo? Uh, he was excited. You know what? He said it's it, it's a market and a building that's always been a very to come in and play against Buffalo. It's been a, it's been a hard place to play, and I think that's what we're building here. The team's building it. It's an arena that visiting teams don't want to come in. So he was excited for me to come in and come into a community like this that loves the game, that loves hockey, that loves where the team's going. And he was happy. He was just as happy as I was. Matias Samuelson has told us the influence his dad has had on him in his career. What is the influence your dad has had on, had on you? I, I, he's been huge. I, <clears throat> I'd be lying if I said he wasn't part of everything that I am coming through and, and understanding the game and, and helping me grow as a player growing up. And now he's taking a little bit of a backseat to, to be a dad and wants to let me play and, and do my thing. But he, he's been huge. But he's probably. 60% of the reason why I'm in the position that I'm playing in the NHL. So I can't thank him enough for all the things he's done for over the years, not only off the ice, but mentally at times when uh, something that I didn't necessarily want to hear, he was the person to give it to me. And in time to give me a pat on the back, he was that guy. So I, I owe a lot to him. What are your most vivid memories of his career? Obviously, it was two Stanley Cups. What do you remember? I mean, I remember a lot. Uh, it's fun. It's, I was lucky enough to, when he retired, I was 13 or 14. So, um, 
those cups in Carolina were great. Uh, our time that he spent in Carolina was something that was really cool when he played with Eric Stahl and those guys, and they had that big run in 06. But I think that would be the highlight for me. And as I got older and was able to come on the ice and skate with the guys after practice, that's, that's one of the cool core memories for me. And I know we have some guys here with some kids, and that's something that I love to do because it was such a treat for me as a kid and, and allowed me to grow and give me that vision of I want to be here, I want to play. And so that's, that's that. What's been your thought on this <clears throat> team from the other bench? Like when you saw them this year or last year, what, what did you think of the Sabres? Uh, they're a team that's coming, and they're coming in the right direction. And they're a team that we didn't want to play against. Uh, the, the skill and the talent and the ability of the guys that buy in for each other, they want to win for each other. You, you look down the bench from the visiting team, and when a guy scores, they're just as happy. And then they had nothing to do with it, right? They, they, it's a team that wants everyone to be successful and wants everyone to get better and grow as a group. And that's intimidating as a visitor and exciting when I'm coming in here to have an opportunity. Your dad was a forward. Defenseman, what made you decide you wanted to be a defenseman instead of a forward like your dad? Uh, I bounced back and forth growing up. I played forward for the longest time. I switched to D at one of the tournaments because uh, growing up, there's a kid that didn't want to play defense, and they had three defensemen. I was like, oh, I get an opportunity to play. There's more ice, so uh, I made the switch, bounced back and forth, and then uh, I think as I got to midget and and tried to figure things out, and uh, defense was a was a position that I really enjoyed. I enjoyed coming from the back. I enjoyed being able to see and read the play from the back end and I just kind of never looked back. You know, I know there, there's been some immigration things. You haven't practiced yet. Are you kind of thinking in your mind maybe Saturday might be the first chance to play? I, I'm just trying to keep an open mind that way. I'm not trying to put too much pressure on when it comes, when it doesn't. Uh, ultimately, it's out of our control. We're waiting to see when it comes through and I'm just trying to work as hard as I can every day, whether that's off the ice, on the ice, anything that I can do to put myself in a position to be successful when I do get the tap on the back. Like what you're saying, I mean, even as an opponent, you could tell that the, the room was, you know, tight and there was a, you know, felt cohesiveness. I mean, just from playing the once or twice this year, you could see that. 100%. I think groups that are as close as this group is here, even just from coming in today and that feel, those those rooms are hard to come by and, and those rooms are exciting. and. When you get an opportunity to be a part of a group that's like that, you want to you want to be successful. You want to give everything you have to the group. Looking forward to getting on the ice with a guy like Rasmus Dahlin. Oh, he's he's a he's a special player. He really is. I've, I've watched him. I watch a lot of hockey and I watched a lot of his games and I watched a lot of Buffalo games. And you know what? He's a special player, and I'm looking forward to it. When did you spend most of your childhood? I guess. Uh, I was a little bit on tour. Uh, I bounced around. Um, Kind of followed Dad wherever he went, uh, Florida, Carolina, and then after he retired, I moved back to Peterborough, Ontario. So uh, I spent most of my time there before I went and went to junior. How nice is it for you to go from a place like Vancouver that's seemingly been in turmoil all season to a place like this? I mean, it's one of those things you, you take it as, as it comes, and, and obviously the position that Vancouver was in right now is not um, – they're kind of changing and things are changing there. So, uh, to, but to come in a group, like I said, that's trying to get in and trying to make the playoffs and trying to make a splash and with a young group, it's just, it's so exciting and, and so happy for me to come. Did you, uh, when you talked to Skinner in there, was there any stories of his rookie year suddenly came out of your mind or out of his mind? <laughs> uh, I haven't got there yet, but I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. I'm sure he's got some stories about that that I would love to hear and, <laughs> and I'm sure uh, as we get going, Dad, I'll tell me some stories about Skinny. But uh, no, it, it's it's good. It's exciting, and it's fun to see a familiar face. Are there any other connections in the organization? Uh, I mean, there's connections all over. Obviously, my dad has been involved in the game for a long time. I mean, whether it's playing with or playing against guys. Um, but uh, off the top of my head, those are the guys that I can that come to mind. You were in this building last year for the last game of last season with Chicago, and that was one of the bigger crowds of the, of the year. Do you, is there anything about that? Uh, the crowd, you remember anything about uh, The crowd here is incredible. The fans that they have in Buffalo, uh, like I said before, is is intimidating. It comes in when and when the team's going and the team's rolling. Momentum is such a huge thing. And I think uh, when I watched the game last night, when when the guys started to turn it on there, the fans are so passionate and, and such a make it such a wonderful atmosphere for the team to play in. And I'm excited for that.